Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? I am gonna show you how to do some really fun packaging. The packaging is so cute, it could be the present or a presentation in itself. Let's get started. We are using a piece of vellum to make this envelope. It's actually more like a waxy graph paper, but it's a vellum and this is what I'm gonna use because I have it. We've done a few templates on YouTube, so you can see some of the ones we've done or just look online for an envelope template. And I know we have quite a few, but you can find them online. So all I'm gonna do is draw where these little circles are and score right here. So do that to your vellum. Remember, you don't wanna score very hard through your vellum or you will rip it. So you wanna do it lightly. I'm just gonna cut some of this out and I may add a few little extras to it. You could go as small as one tiny little piece, or you could just keep layering and add lots of lots. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. So it doesn't really matter if it goes over the edges. That just means it'll be on the back. It's not that big of a deal. So I am just gonna transfer these onto here. I'm gonna line it up and I can see where my lines are. Okay, let me fold this so I see where I'm at. You could even just take an image you printed off and put it on the front. I just have a lot of scrap on my transfers and I thought this way would be a beautiful way to make a package or an envelope. But I think just to, you could put something simple in it and just the packaging alone is just so beautiful. So I think this is what I'm gonna add for now. I'm taking a piece of this sari soap. You can use any type of a ribbon or use nothing at all. And I'm just going to do a fun um, zigzag stitch down the center of it. And then I'm also gonna zigzag stitch just around this, just to give the envelope some interest. Let me just cut this piece a tad bit shorter. And that's what we're gonna do to start. Now, if you don't wanna stitch it, you can just tape this down. You could draw some little lines with the marker to make it look like stitching or add some other trim to this. So I sewed here and then I just did a zigzag all the way around. Now, what I am gonna do is make a little tag here, whether you were actually gonna mail it or just a fun nameplate or whatever. And I'm just taking, this was some excess paper I had that I had painted but you could use any type of paper you want and make your own rectangle. I'm gonna make it just a little bigger than what I'm drawing so it has a nice box. I am using this um, ultra fine point Sharpie, but you can use anything you would like. And I am just gonna make a fun box here. And I'm just gonna use my straight edge and rip just right around on the outside of where I drew those lines. So this is kind of like your, if you were sending this, it's kind of like your address label. And that is going to go right here somewhere. Now, what I wanted is something fun. And I know he's really big, but what I'm gonna do is cut a portion of this out and I wanna put a string around his hand that's holding the address label. And I can have some of the frogs showing up on the other edge too. So I'm kind of guessing on some of it. Most of this excess is gonna be on the back and the side anyway. I think he's just fun on here. So I put the ribbon on first and then I could see how much space I had to work around. And the little piece that I had just traced out, it's gonna be like a name or an address. I'm gonna lightly just tack this down and I'm gonna sew around this. What I'm gonna do is do kind of a stitch through this corner and tack the rest of it down. And then I'm gonna have the stitch go all the way around the frog's hand. So it looks like he's holding on to the address block. Now I may add just a couple other words to here, so I'm just gonna add a few of the little fun sayings and then I am going to go sew this on. So I stitched around this. You can see how I just did a, a circular. It's just a stitch on my machine and it goes oval. So I stitched through there, around here, and the frog is holding this address tag. So I thought that was really, really kind of cute. I'm adding a few just simple um, little word transfers to this. So we have this. We will be doing some aging with stamping 
and oxide ink and then sealing. But what I wanted to do first, add a piece of cheesecloth to the inside of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Age it too, so it's just gonna look really fun on the inside. I'm just gonna take some of my Mod Podge and I am just gonna put it over this with this fabric is lightly spray it down so it's wet. Just lightly, it doesn't have to be real, you don't want to drench, but just a little bit wet. And then I am just gonna squish it down here. I wanna keep my stitches showing, and I really don't wanna go past my folds because it'll make it hard to fold. And we're gonna let, let this dry really quick. This should just take a couple minutes, we're gonna let it dry, and then we are going to age the whole thing. And you'll see what a difference how it makes it look when we get done aging and sealing. Okay, so we glued this on here. It's it's pretty dry. You wanna make sure it's dry before you really do the next part. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm using my Vintage Textures stamp, and I'm just using some black ink, but you can do whatever you would like. And I am just going to stamp over this. So I am doing this on the other side of this too. So you're gonna get a little bit of fun texture. So then what I'm gonna do next is take my vintage photo distress oxide and I am going to rub over my elements. I really wanna make sure I get over all my stitches because I think that looks really fun. And you can see like here, it's hard to see it, but when I ink it, you can kind of get the feel of what I've done there. Once again, if you've watched me before, when I seal it with my sealer, it's gonna help move it around. Now I'm even gonna put this. Okay, so now let's get our Minwax Polyacrylic Crystal Clear Sealer. I am gonna start with the front. And I'm just gonna put this over and you can see how it's moving it. Also, it'll stiffen up my sorry silk ribbon, but I like that. I kind of like that look, the way it looks. It makes my vellum more translucent, but it also makes it, I think, a little heavier duty. Every layer I put on here gives a little more strength to this paper. I want a little more color in here. If your oxide ever starts to look like it's drying out, when you add a little water to it, it really brings it back to life. Look at that. I'm gonna add a little sealer. Pick up a little color if I can here. And try to put it over this. So I'm gonna let this side dry and it should take just like a minute or two. And then I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So I've got this sealed, so I'm gonna let this dry and then we're just about done. So you guys, didn't this look fun and simple? What I really wanna show you on this, after we've done both of these two, same concepts, same ideas, but the different coloring. So if you wanted to make it an envelope, you could. Then you would securely tape this shut. But I thought this was so cute. You may wanna leave it like this. If you wanted to put a wax seal on the back to seal it, maybe put a candy bar or a fun, beautiful photo. And even a photo will slightly show through here because this is vellum. Or maybe you're going to put a fun letter that you're handing to someone and just tie some beautiful fiber or string around this. And then when they open this up, they can also see how beautiful that is. And you can even add other sentiments and fun things inside of here. I hope you guys give this a try. Put your own twist on it, but whatever you do, have fun.